Okay, um, here we are again. Um, today we're going to show you how to remove the starter out of an O2 BMW 330i. Uh, the removal process should be the same for most E46 models. Obviously, as you can see, the engine has been taken out of the car. So, um, hopefully this video gives you a better view as to where the bolts are and what kind of tools you'll be needing. Anyhow, um, first is you're going to have to remove these two bolts. There's one here and one here. That's uh, E14 inverted Torx. And the tool that I'll be using is again the inverted Torx looks like this. It's an E14. I'm using a long um, ratchet here, breaker bar. Because uh, the, these are pretty tight. So you got to go to remove these two. Okay, I went ahead and removed those bolts. The bolts look like this. Now what you got to do is you got to go ahead and pull the uh, starter out. Um, this one here is pretty squeezed in, so I have to go ahead and wiggle it to remove it. As you can see right there, I almost got it out. Okay, I managed to uh, pull the starter out of the bell housing here. Now what I need to do is I'm taking this wrench here, and I'm going to have to remove this bolt right here. So I can right there okay once you remove this bolt here it's gonna go ahead and give you better access you can go ahead and actually pull the starter forward and pull it out but if this cable is still attached it's holding it it's holding it right here so this is as far as you can go so that's what you gotta take and this is a 13 millimeter bolt okay so once you uh, take this 13 millimeter bolt you're able to go ahead and pull the cables off and then of course you still gotta this right here is a 10 millimeter and there's another one back here it's a 10 millimeter but obviously you can't reach it unless you pop the starter out of the bell housing remove this bolt here remove this cable and then you're you're able to go ahead and push the starter forward of course you're trying to pull this forward what's getting in the way is this here okay so you have to remove this as well and in order to get remove this it's right there 13 millimeter okay so once you remove it here 13 millimeter you're able to pull it out there's a hose right here connecting to a nipple you can just go ahead and remove that and then once you do that you're gonna have access to the starter much much better and then you'll be able to go ahead and well so many hoses pretty much pull it out see turn it over and then remove the bolts again there's one here 10 millimeter and 10 millimeter right there okay so you move this here I just want to go ahead and clear something out this here this bolt is a 10 millimeter the one here is a smaller one right there that's an 8 millimeter okay so just want to clarify that 10 here 8 here Okay, so I went ahead and removed the bolts. Now you gotta do is slide the cables out. Like this, like this. Okay, those are off. So then, once that's complete, all you have to do is get the starter and bring it down here. Okay, and let me go ahead and put this on the floor here. Let me get you a better view as how the starter looks. So, starter is connected like this on the car. This is where the E14, the inverted torques go. They go in here, and then here you got the 13 millimeter bolt that you gotta remove, and then you got a 10 and you got an 8. Once those come off, pretty much you gotta go ahead and pull the starter off, and then to install it is the reverse process. Again, um, I've done starters before. They're not my favorite projects to work on because of the fact, as you can see, and this is because the engine's already removed of the, of the car. Um, but if once the engine is still in the car, it, is, it gives you very little space to work on. And again, it makes it pretty challenging. So again, um, if you're gonna tackle this job, make sure you're in a soothing place, uh, nice shade 
music in the background nice soft drink especially if you're going to be working in the summer and just really take your time because again it can get it can get pretty frustrating and the last thing you want to do is you know start pulling um, wires and you know uh, start trying to pull it out or force it out and you're going to do more damage than good um, so again that's how you do it again good luck um, and if you have any questions let us know comments are appreciated and as always subscribe to our um, channel for future videos okay again beamer merchant out